So as every Jeep owner knows, the dome lights are not that great. You can see here in my garage with the lights off, you can barely see in the back at all. And that's with the dome lights on. And the dome lights turn off on their own pretty quick. So I've done a couple things in my JK. First thing is, I have 3D printed a mount for a Harbor Freight LED light, the little $1 light. You can see it lights up the back pretty good. It's also in a removable from its mount. You can see zip tied to the roll, car, uh, roll bar there, sport cage, whatever you want to call it. You can take it loose, move it around. It sticks to the metal things and it snaps right back in. But that's not that bright. So the other thing I decided to do was replace the vent on the tailgate with two LED rock lights and a switch. You can flip the switch and boom, two 320 lumen LEDs installed right on the tailgate. And because of the angle where that vent is normally at, it lights up the whole back of the Jeep. And if you open it up further, it lights up the whole area behind the Jeep. All right, so here's that vent that we took out of the Jeep's tailgate. You can see mine's a little beat up. Previous times weren't very nice, the tailgate on my Jeep. Um, so this has got a little damage. This is the part that I 3D printed. And it's a little shinier than I would have liked, but this is uh, PETG, so it should have no problem at all with the temperatures in the Jeep. Um, it's pretty solid. You can see I'm flexing a little bit, but it's going to be mounted on both sides, so shouldn't have any problem with strength. So I've got a little uh, carling rocker switch here, which should go right in there like that. And then I picked up a couple of these Harbor Freight uh, rock lights. And there's a little hole for their wire right here. I'll run that through. Kind of a tight fit, but it works just fine. And that one's gonna go on there like that. And then the second one's gonna go down here on the bottom. Okay, so the way this connects to the Jeep, as you can see, it's got a couple little push uh, connect fittings, little pop-in connectors there. And then this side actually tucks under the sheet metal. Um, I got this idea from a design I saw online and they, it looks like they just have two screws holding it in. And I tried that and it's a little too flexible for my like. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this little piece of aluminum here uh, with some threaded uh, holes in it some M6 threaded holes so I can run some screws through and that way it'll sandwich the other side of the sheet metal in the Jeep, kind of like those little clips would and make it a lot more secure. So I'm just gonna line this up here on the edge. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. This is all gonna be hidden inside the tailgate of the Jeep. And I'm just gonna hold it in place there so that I get my marks the same. And we're gonna take a Sharpie and just mark where those holes are at. And that way I can go ahead and drill these holes. And we're going to drill some holes as straight as we can. I've got a number 8 drill bit, which should be pretty much the exact right size for the major diameter for tapping these out to M6-1. So I'm just going to very accurately as possible center punch these little marks I made. There are more accurate ways to do it, but for this, this should be fine. And then we'll just go ahead and as straight as we can. And there's two. Um, normally you'd want to kind of make sure this is nice and square, and we're going to try to get as close as we can just by eye, but it should be fine for this type of project. All right, let's grab this other one. All right, so there, those are both tapped. So now we should be able to take our M6 by one socket cap screws. And thread them right in there like that and we'll leave them loose while we're installing it so you kind of push these down they're kind of a tight fit 
which is just fine. See, that gives us a little gap, which is going to work just like the gap on that. And that's going to pinch the sheet metal of the Jeep. Give us a nice secure hold. And I haven't decided yet if I'm going to go ahead and make a bar for the other side. I probably will just because I have the materials. Um, but there's also little mounting holes that these clips go into that you could put like a U-nut on or like a sheet metal nut, depending on what you want to call it, and just go straight into those. But I may go ahead and make another aluminum strip just because I have it. It's fairly inexpensive and it'll be nice and secure. All right, and just some rounded over edges. Got rid of some of the burring and sharp edges. So now they won't jab us or scratch anything. All right, so we're installing all the switches and the lights back in. Now we have the brackets ready. I'll make this design available on things and probably Thingiverse as well. So if you want to download it and print it, you certainly can. Uh, you will need to print it in something better than ABS or um. PLA, excuse me, like ABS or PETG. Otherwise, it may melt if you're in a hot climate uh, in your car. This is PETG, so it hold, should hold just fine. So these are nylocks. So I'm going to grab some tools to run these down and then work on the wiring. Cool. So this should be plenty tight for what we need. We take a look. We didn't crush the print. So those are going to go just like that. That switch will be there. So we'll just, it's actually going to sell like this in the Jeep. So we'll get all wired up. Okay, so this is a very crude diagram of this switch and how we're going to be wiring it. Uh, my LEDs are not exactly drawn right and they're, they're backwards in this demonstration just for the purposes of everything lining up. So on the switch, you have these two pins here that are marked 7 and 8. Those are grounds for the lights in the switch. So those and the two grounds of the LED are all going to be common together. Then you have these, or you have this pin here, uh, that's pin 2. That is going to be the 12 volt in from your source. So that's going to go to our fused cigarette lighter output 12 volt source in the back of the Jeep. And then this is a 12 volt source on pin uh, 6 here. This is the 12 volts for the other light, the bottom light, in this switch. And I'm just going to go ahead and also comment that to the fused. I already have some other things that run all the time in the Jeep and this tiny little LED shouldn't affect my battery life too badly. It is a daily driver, so shouldn't have any problems with battery life. It's a tiny little thing. And then this final pin down here, which looks like that one's pin 3. Yeah, pin 3. That is going to go out to the positive leads on our LEDs and that should get us all wired up. So let me make some connections and we'll get it all connected up. All right, so we're getting ready to mount this in the Jeep and I have the rear plastic taken off here. Now a lot of Wranglers have a second connector along with this gray one here that is actually a power connector for a 12 volt outlet back here. Fortunately mine doesn't, so I end up running a new wire all the way up to the front to the battery um, and you can see it here I actually have it running alongside the factory wiring and it's going to go behind the little cover on the tailgate and we're going to connect it over here so let's go ahead and get it installed everything in the back of this jeep is really dusty i need to replace my tailgate vent so we're going to go from the outside here to the short side. This side's actually going to tuck behind and then screw in tight. So we're gonna push it up so it's nice and loose so we have some room to rock it in. Then this next side's gonna be the tricky part. So I'm gonna use some kind of long screws on it. Wipe some dust off here. So you can see here in the body, look, make sure I'm looking at this right spot here, yep. You can see here on the body we've got where the old the old vent clips in. I've got some holes. 
So what I want to do is I want to go through my mounting plate. And if I can, I'm going to get this started behind here like that. So this is where it's going to get a little tricky. Once you get the first one started, the second one should go pretty easily. Now, if you don't want to do this, you could very easily get some U-nuts. And that's probably what I should have done, but I have all this hard work. So, now we need to make sure that we tuck this side behind. Get that lined up. As long as we can get this screw started, we should be in luck. All right, we got it started. So now I'm going to grab my socket and we'll get it all tightened up. All right, we're just tightening down this last screw here. All right, nice and snug, everything's in place. So I'm going to go connect the wires to the battery. And then we're going to give it a try. All right, guys. We got all in there. We replaced the old vent grill with a 3D printed light pod. You can see the little white light there. And when you flip this, boom. Two 320 lumen LEDs.